my thoughts on the closure of Heritage Harley Davidson. Not unlike many of my posts, the images in this post will not necessarily follow the narrative. I trust that in the end, both the images and the narrative will tell their own story. When I moved to New Hampshire, Heritage was located on Loudon Road in Concord in an exceedingly small building. The building still exists today. I believe that this Loudon Road shop was strategically located between the Tom Collins store, the tap room, and E.W. Sleeper's equipment shop. The dealership would later move to the current location on Manchester Street. It is from that location that my relationship with Heritage would begin. Fast forward some 37 years. My thoughts? I, like many, were shocked to see the Facebook post on September 19th announcing that Heritage had been sold to a third party and the doors would be shuttered on September 30th. This announcement seemed and still seems illogical to the average joke customer. For this Joe, perhaps this is due to my modest business knowledge as I struggle to understand how and where this type of acquisition intersects or supports Chairman Zeiss's claims of more roads transformation process in his five-year rewired strategic plan. I am admittedly even more baffled by his commitment statement to focus on their core markets. It is hard for me to believe that Heritage's performance in sales and service, combined with their focus on the core market motorcycle models, would be lost in Zeiss's ideology. But we do understand is in the end, the rhetoric of his background ideological noise is drowned out by the reality that their only metric is for sale to the highest bidder. There is no contingency for legacy or performance. Lost in between the motor company's rhetoric and the estate's need to maximize the value of the financial assets, there are 32 employees who have suffered the loss of their principal and to many of them, their friend. Yet each and all of them would bunker down with full commitment and do more than ever to ensure that Heritage continued its best in New Hampshire in sales and service. In this Joe's opinion, Andy and his management team stepped up immediately last November and began to build a new future based on the core values the sleeper families built the business on. They repositioned many facets of the business to sustain the current climate and to grow this local dealership. By all accounts, they were on the right path, a path I believe the motor company had to have known. When it came to COVID, yet another gut punch for this small business of 32 employees. Yet through it all, they effectively balanced health and safety of their employees and customers. They maintained timely communication to their customers and provided service and parts in new ways, while not diminishing their excellence in customer service. During all of this, the sale of the dealership lay in the background. I think it's fair to say that the employees and their customers hoped, if not assumed, that the sale to Andy would go through. The thought of a new buyer seemed very far from anybody's mind. No one would have envisioned the lethal acquisition that was about to come. One must ask, are lethal acquisitions part of Chairman Zeiss's plan? The harsh fact is, big eats little in open water every time. Unfortunately, the ground conditions left Heritage vulnerable for this type of acquisition. The dealership was lacking a principal. COVID and the challenges facing the motorcycle industry as a whole were stacked against this little giant. In the end, Heritage, like Manchester Harley-Davidson, was acquired by the largest Harley-Davidson dealership on the East Coast. While one can admire the drive of new ownership of this group, to own 10 dealerships in the next couple of years, they appear not concerned about the void created by shuttering the doors, the impact on the customers, the Concord business community, and more importantly, the impact on 32 employees and 32 families. While I respect Andy greatly, the captor's letter from the hostage that was presented to the public regarding the sale and closure was at best in effort to placate the reaction of this acquisition, a reaction that needs to be heard in Milwaukee. The letter was most likely penned by the motor company suits or the acquirer's dealership group.
Perhaps they figured that the legalese would confuse the New Hampshire folks. Yet we can read. And what we read was, The Harley-Davidson Motor Company has a strategic initiative to continually optimize and evolve the dealership network. They further stated, The consolidation of Heritage Harley-Davidson remains in line with the aims of this initiative. It appears that the closure and impact on 32 families is justified collateral damage in their strategic initiative. I do expect that some employees will assume jobs at the dealership group's Manchester operation, and some may go to other dealerships, but some may have more challenging outcomes. There are strong personal relationships that are formed organically in small companies. Severing these can be difficult for some people, and people get lost as a result. Yes, we know that none of these human factors are metrics in the Motor Company's strategic initiative. Each of us as customers of Heritage will make our own decisions about where to buy and service our motorcycles. Each of us will make these decisions. However, there will be a lasting negative impact from this acquisition. That said, if the positive performance stats of a small local dealership did not impress the motor company, losing a few customers to other brands will not even be seen by their strategists. I wish all the employees the best. You may have challenging times ahead of you, and none of this is from your own hands. Be patient and be kind to yourself. Be reminded, as Viktor Frankl once wrote, when we are no longer able to change the situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. In the end, perhaps the name Heritage sealed the fate of the dealership. Webster's Dictionary tells us the word Heritage means something transmitted or acquired from a predecessor, a legacy, an inheritance. Just my thoughts. Be safe.